Hello viewers. My name is uh, Chandan Kumar. I am associated with Sage University as an assistant professor in the School of Advanced Computer. Today, uh, we are going to learn about joint operations in relational algebra. Uh, actually, this is the this topic is the part of database management system. So today we are going to cover uh, the natural join and the outer join and the, all the classifications of outer join. So at first uh, we should uh, we will learn about what is join operation. As we all know that is the join is a combination of a Cartesian product followed by a selection process. A join operation pairs two tuples from two different relations if and only if a given join condition is satisfied. What does it mean? It means suppose uh, here we have two uh, uh, tuples to two relations. Uh, one uh, name is uh, employee and second one is salary. In, uh, in these two uh, tables, in these two relations, you can see that their employee code is a common attribute between these two relations. So what is the condition? The condition here is that uh, the name of attribute uh, in both the relations should be same. On the basis of these things, we are going to uh, combine, we are going to join these two relations, that is employee and salary. Look, here is, this is the uh, output of the join operation between the employee and salary. The notation of join is the uh, this symbol. So, in the employee table, we have two attributes that is employee code and employee name. But in the case of salary, we have two uh, different attributes that is employee code and salary. But in both the uh, tables, we have common attributes employee code. So in the output, we will have three attributes. One is the common between these two relations that is the employee code. Second one is the employee name, which is associated with employee. And second one, third one is salary. It is the which is which was associated with the salary do, salary relation. So this is the output. You can see the output uh, bas basically 101, 102, and 103. All the three uh, values of employee code are common in both the table. So after the joining, we will have the 101 and the step one from the employee table, and the 5000 value will be come uh, come through in salary. So basically, this is the join operation. Now we are going to uh, discuss about natural join. What is natural join? So natural join is nothing. It is also kind of a join in which, uh, in which the attribute, the uh, the name and uh, the name and type of the common attribute should be same. So here, uh, what will be the selection process? The selection will be uh, uh, will be done by the uh, tuples whose components corresponding to the common attribute and that should be the same values. As you can see here, here we have uh, two tables, one is R and one another is C. In both the relations, you, you, you can see that here B and D, B and D are those where those, those attributes which, which are common in both the tables. So bas basically based on these the common attributes, we are going to combine the these two relations and here is the output. You can see, you can see here, here, if we look for the combination of B and D, so the common uh, values of combination of B and D is one, one A pair and two B pair. So both, both are the common between these two relations. So basically based on these common attributes, we are going to combine uh, these two relations. So this is the natural join. Basically, the natural join is a join in which there should be at least one common attribute should be present. And uh, the name and the domain of both the attribute, the common attribute should be built exactly the same. So this is the natural join. Now we are going to learn about outer join. In an outer join, along with the pulse that satisfy the matching criteria, we also include some or all tuples that do not pass the criteria. Basically, uh, in the two relations, in the two different relation which, which has uh, some common attributes, so there is possibility that there will be, there should be, there will be some uh, 
some values which will be uncommon from both the tables. So based on this criteria, we are going to classify these attributes, these uh, join operation that is left outer join, right outer join, and full and full outer join. What is the left outer join? Uh, you can see the uh, you can see here in the left outer join operations allows keeping all tuples in the left relation. That means here uh, basically it is uh, denoted by it is represented by this symbol. So in the first relation, in the first relation, in the first relation, we have to keep all the tuples from the first relation, which are common between the uh, between uh, two relations, which are we, we are going to combine. So basically, you can see the here. Here we have a, a relation that is name that's name is A and another is B. In both the tables, we have a common attributes name N U M N. So basically, you can see the here. There uh, we will uh, in the output we are going to write all the tuples which are present in first table that is in A. So this is the A join B operation. So here in the output we have two four two four. We have three nine three nine and we have four sixteen. You can see here we are not including the values five, which are not common in those relations. And you can see here if we are uh, if, we, if, we, if we don't have any values related to any other attribute, so we are going to write their null. So this is the left outer join. That means in this relation, in this join operation, we have to keep all the tuples that is. Uh, kept inside the first relation, but in case of right outer join, it is just opposite. In the right outer join, we are going to have all the attributes, of all the tuples that are present in second table. So, uh, if we are going to combine, if we are going to uh, make the right outer join in this example, in the output we will have the two. Three and five. These three values, these three tuples, will be associated within the output of the right outer join. Here, uh, this is the output. You can see here. Uh, here we have. Uh, we are having all the attributes, all the tuples that is associated with the second relation. And in the full outer join, in the full outer join, we are. Going to have all the tuples that are associated with the first relation as well as the second relation. Here you can see that here we have all the values that is that is two, three, four. These three values were was associated with the first relation, and the five was the uncommon between between two at two relations, and that is also kept here. And here you can see that this is these are the missing missing values. So we are going to re replace by these missing values by the null value. So now I think you all are aware uh, about the uh, join operations in the relational algebra in the subject DBMS database management system. Thank you, thank you all of you.